So, Jake, why does it take you so long to put out a record? That's a question. <laughs> is that a question? Is that yeah, a question. Okay, why does it take me so long to put out a record? It kind of does, really. Um, there was three and a half years between Future Dead Rapper and District Selectman, and it looks like Jobber to the Stars is going to be about two years after District Selectman. It's a variety of reasons, perfectionism, uh, marijuana intake, um, you know, real life, I mean, I'm kind of a one-man label, you know, I mean, the, the booking agent, the engineer, the producer, the hustler, the artist, you know, the person, it's just like a lot, you know, I mean, I have, I have my staff, Miss Natalia Novak and Biff Rosner and Computer, who you've probably heard from the record, but, uh, you know, it's just tough, man, being a boss is time consuming, you know, you can't always find time to rap. Was why I cherish these times to rap. Like tonight at Club Rebel, 251 West 30th Street, New York, New York. Be there. Another fan asks, what the fuck is a district selectman and what the fuck is a jobber to the stars? Well, <laughs> a district selectman is the hood politician. He's the neighborhood crate digger. He is the, he's the man who went to Washington to represent you. But the thing about the district selectman is, is he's low on moral fiber and high on delusions of grandeur. Mm. I mean, imagine like Harvey Dent, you know, meets a used car salesman. You know, uh, <laughs> translated into, into hip hop format. Uh, but, you know, the district selectman is a man, you know, with roughly the clout of a city councilman who's made it his aim to take on the world. Mm -hmm. um, what was the other question? Job to the Stars, what is that? A Job to the Stars is my new album that I'm about 80% done with, probably. Uh, it's my new album. Um, again, kind of like how the District Select one was a character that reflects one aspect of me. How should I put this? Like, growing up, I, like, I watched wrestling my whole life. Mm -hmm. And there's a lot of metaphors for it in my music and shit like that. But in wrestling, in backstage wrestling terminology, there's a couple different levels of the pecking order of the way people are ranked. You got your superstars, you know, your Hulk Hogan's, the people who come out and win every night and make millions of dollars, and the fans are, Aah. and then you got your guys at the bottom of the ladder who are the jobbers. Those are the people who just come out and get their ass whooped every night. You know, wham, bam, they get a paycheck to, to get beat up. And then there's those guys in the middle who are really talented, but for some reason, politics or whatever you want to classify it as, they can't get to the top. But they got their little fan base and, you know, they'll go over the guys at the bottom, but they're never going to get a victory over the guys at the top. And they call those people jobbers to the stars. And that's how I feel in the hip-hop rung sometimes. I say it in the, um, in the opening track of the record. I'll never get past the mid-card as long as you're in charge. Homie, I'm a jobber to the stars. Like, so that's just like a metaphor of how I feel. Who is your favorite wrestler? And will you be wrestling at Starcade this year? I believe the final Starcade was in 1998, but um, yes, yeah, so I'm wrestling at Starcade this year against Greg the Hammer Valentine for the World Television title in a dog collar match. It will be broadcast on closed circuit television in 1986. But um, what was the other question? My favorite wrestler? Yep. Of all time, probably Ric Flair. Mm -hmm. um, just because, you know.
Honorable mentions, though, to Bret Hart, Steve Austin, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Honky Tom Brand, you know, whatever. I, I get more people with that all day. <laughs> so. No, you're wrestling, man. <laughs> Next question. Will you be doing any more albums with C4? With C4? Um, it's my understanding C4 left the business to some degree, but uh, the door is wide open. Me and him cut a record in 2005 called Respect You Guys. It's still out, it's still available, I'm still very proud of it. I think it's a great record, you know, the man can spit fire and sing his own hooks. You know, so, I mean, my number's still the same if you see this for some reason, man. Yes. So, last question. Drum roll, please. <clears throat> Will rapping be outlawed one day? I can only hope so. Great. This has been 10 Gully Questions with District Selectman Jake Palumbo. He's about to rock and revel tonight. Gotta go check it out. It's gonna be crazy. If not, Jake, is there anything you wanna leave the fans with? Let's get to work, man. Let's get to work.